Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Eidolon. What were we doing? We were lost, apparently. No, we were, uh... Oh, yes, we were running. We were running from the, the wild creatures. Oh, there's birds in this tree. Hello, little birds. Would you like to show me the way to my next objective? Will they fly away if I approach? I don't think I've ever seen birds on a tree. Hey, bird! Oh, they are gone. All right, see you later, bird. Screw you, bird. You dang bird. Um, yeah, I was running away from a bear and like three wolves, so that was interesting. But I really wanted to continue investigating the beacons. So the beacons are that away, which is uh, west away. All right are learning about the beacons, not necessarily the beacons themselves, but the next... Whoa, the next, uh... The next information about the beacons. I will take these mushrooms, don't mind if I do. Let's... let us... let us review our inventory. Uh, we've got cooked meat. Blackberries, let's eat these blackberries. Alright, just to... Just to stem the tide of the hunger. Oh, sorry, that was... what's her name? Was coming back there in the voice. All right, I'm I'm exhausted. All right, so I can't run. Never mind. Welcome to Eidolon. Let's go to sleep. Oh, there's the bird. The bird is the word. That means there should be information in this general direction. The tree trunks make for uh, an easy way to block your line of sight to see if there was any crystals there, but they should be easy to spot in the night, in the darkness. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's some, some additional, uh, tinder, tinder. I lost the bird. Too tired to run. Alright, so we're going west. Potentially to the shoreline. I've got enough tinder for days! For, for months, really. Uh, is my bird still flipped? <laughs> is he still aloft? Or does he not fly at night? Oh. What? Did I miss it? Did I miss something? Oh, this is spooky. This is very spooky. Maybe I should sleep. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. I'm losing depth perception in the, in the darkness. So yeah, we want to go west, so we'll we'll go to sleep uh, next to this boom, inside the tree trunk apparently, and then we'll we'll continue west in the morning. So let's sleep uh, and get all rained on. These with the past of vanished lands, all the reigns of kings across the sea. Old conquerors, old campaigns, old sailors' voyages, joining Eidolons. <laughs> Poetry, everybody. Poetry. All right, let's eat fish before it goes bad. Although I don't think the cooked meat goes bad. Oh, man, I was really hungry. I ate some fish and, and mushrooms. Half my mushrooms. All right, continuing west. Can't see the bird. Whoa, we're sprinting. Whoa, we woke up with a pep in our step. I guess it's alright, we can keep doing that. Uh, dive through some mushrooms while we're along the way. Now, how do, how do mushrooms go bad? I'm curious. They're already a fungus. <laughs> they are... Their existence is because they've gone bad. Oh, man. I don't think I understand that much about mushrooms as food. All right, we got some pretty... Oh, there's my bird. Uh, he's still going this way, all right. Would you like some mushrooms, dear bird? Bird? Perhaps some honey? 
if you are injured. Some tinder for which to make a nest. I am here to assist you, as you have assisted me, my feathered friend. It's kind of going off in this direction. So I will follow. Up oh, over here, all right. Not getting any crystals on the horizon. Oh, oh, it's that's a bush. It's a bush. It's all right. Uh, they cannot attack you, as far as I'm aware. Unless they have thorns, in which case, stay away. Oh, more ruins. All right. Interesting. Am I still following the bird correctly? Yep, all right. Still leading this way. That's fine. Get bl oh, blueberries. I will get blueberries. I don't mi don't mind if do. Oh, information crystal. Wow, I thought I'd gotten all these. Well, this is apparently a new ruin. All right, let's get some information. Uh oh. Oh, neat. It's another one of these. Uh, some sort of shanty town with skyscrapers. Okay, that was that. Do I have anything? Any information beyond that? Do your distance from a see that's why I, I want to get close to a beacon to see this thing change. That's got to mean something. Uh, some Twitter stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've already seen that. And then the politics thing. All right, so we've got to find some mountains in the distance and skyscrapers, and then fill in. Was there any information with this? No. Then we need to like fill in the blanks. Well, clearly these... ow. These could have been skyscrapers. My mouse seems extra sensitive today. Slow down. Slow your roll there, man. Oh, another information crystal. All right. Don't mind if I do. Well, it's a little hard to see. It's very foggy at the moment. Yes, this is the one I'm going for, my friend. All right, here we go. So now we have reach, reach, something about reach. Oh, okay, that was... Is this my handwriting? Can I hide this? Hide? I can't read. I can't read this because this is in the way. Go away! Oh, things are like overlapping themselves? What have I done? All right, these I can zoom in on, so that doesn't matter. This one I can't zoom in on because it's literally written in my notebook. Did I write this? Oh, that's a bug, I guess. All right, I went across the mountains today using up more and more of the little fuel there is left. Pretty soon I'll be locked to this side of the mountains, but I don't think... But I think I might like to wander into, the, into Canada before that happens. To Canada! Get some free health care. Needed the car anyway. Okay, this isn't my handwriting. Because we're talking about a car, made a good decision, something started picking up radiation as I neared the decommissioned B reactor. By the time this number's this high, something, something, the whole area is shot. Something is clean. Now, again, with the curse of. Tri-Cities won't be rebuilt for a long time because of radiation, some sort of radiation situation. I wish I had blah 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 to read. Oh, that stinks. Why no zoom? Why no zoom? So if I had found it in a different order and it had put it on the left-hand side, I would have been able to read it? Go away. Alright, I don't know what reach is. 
I don't even see any reference to reach in this letter, so I'm gonna keep looking for beacon information. And it's still telling me to- oh! Take that information! <laughs> uh, it's still telling me to go- oh, this is a little bit northwest. Alright, there's some mountains. I'm also trying to put piece together that little photo. Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused. Alright, let's take out the, the iPad. Like, there's some mountains. This is where skyscrapers were. I was sprinting. I'm like, I'm not running fast enough. I, I require more speed, more power. All right, there's there's some. Oh, that's an interesting like cliff face mountain. And water probably. It's vibrating water. It's electronic. All right, let's try to. No. I mean, that's what that looks like, right? It's like a shanty town with skyscrapers behind it and the wall? Is that the wall that they were talking about? I don't know, I really can't. There's nothing distinct popping out in this area. That other one was pretty easy to, to piece together because you were right there on the hill. Well, this one is... Like, if these are the skyscrapers in the background, then actually what I'm looking for should be on the other side of these trees. Or at least the remains of the shanty town, if there are any. But that's that's too bad. We're we're looking for the the beacon stuff. I gotta s stay on target, so it's this way. I gotta keep an eye out for Mr. Birdman as well. I'm just checking the rubble. Oh oh, there. Okay, there's some like still standing up. Scrapers of sky. S skyscrapers. Interesting. Feeling pretty hungry. Let's... Nah. Take it easy there, bird. Uh, let's toss... Oh, the blueberries are getting old. Toss them. Eat those. That little hitbox is a little bit hard to hit. Box. Oh. Um, I mean, I guess there are some skyscrapers there, but in that case, I'm I'm walking where the, the kind of shanty town would be, and I don't I don't see any remnants. Ooh, what's this? Bird poop? You pooping on the ground, <laughs> bird? Oh, he's telling me to go that way. Uh, I guess I'll go that way. You've not done me wrong so far. It's probably leading me right to a family of bears. Oh, oh there's an information thing over here, so I'll go. I'll take the bait! Don't get scratched by the rebar, you're gonna get yourself tetanus. Gonna need to spread some bees on it. Wait, where did that? Oh, there it is. All right, some more uh, information to be had. Oh gosh! Oh, this is somebody's email. Okay, you can't click on the interface, but it's just like a screenshot. Orin, Orin, that sounds familiar. Orin Johansson. Ms. Washington, my name is Orin Johansson. I'm writing as a representative of Bellevue's Fine Arts Consortium in alliance with Johansson Galleries. As you may know, we have a long history. We have a long history of making fairly unknown artists. 
of taking fairly unknown artists, excuse me, and bringing new light to their work, elevating them to a place of great significance in the public eye. This guy's accent is evolving. For example, Cade Milano, Quinn Bzernski, and Jade Van Zuylen were all represented by our consortium early in their careers. Recently, I stumbled upon your work from several years back in relation to the group known as the Exiled Artists. I was astonished. Really astonished. So fresh. So somber. So lovely. I'll cut to the short of it. I want to ask you to do a new fresh series for the opening show in our new Shohansen Galleries located in Olympia. He's from many places around the world. This series would be a continuation of the themes present in your work about Seattle. I truly feel that in these times, with the beacon just erected and Olympia becoming a new bastion of prosperity and joy, in these times I truly feel the voice from the not-so-distant past. A voice which knows no... De oh, I'm sorry. Which knows de despair and loss. Which knows poverty and tragedy. Which knows death. A voice which has roots in Olympia and can speak about Washington as a whole. Your voice could really and truly resonate. Nice use of the M dash as a, over the, the N dash or hyphen. Uh, Ms. Washington, may I call you Eleanor? Eleanor. <laughs> she didn't respond, but okay. <laughs> Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Please let me know as soon as you possibly can if you are willing to continue this conversation in person, perhaps over a glass of wine. Let me know as soon as possible and we can set up a meeting. Sincerest, Oren Shohansen. Okay, Eleanor was a name we've heard before, but I can't remember where. Uh, hold on, I gotta flip through my pages here really quick. Old Town. Ah, these, these pages are overlapping. Ada something, Anders, Old Town, uh, Beacons, Wild Girl, Beacons, Mission, Oh wait, wasn't Orin? Orin? Oh, Ada. Gosh, I'm getting all these names confused. Steve, Steve! The Fall... Senem... Oh, maybe it isn't. Wild Girl... Hmm. I swear these names... There's Eleanor! Meet Cat... Move to Olympia... Look up Jacob... Is this Eleanor's art? Oh, these look like pictures of the huts, drawings of the huts at Old Town. Um, oh, there's Eleanor again. Yeah, she's kind of the artist. Oh, what was the date on that email? Hello? Oh, this is the first page. Never mind. Eleanor, yeah, she's like practicing her signature. So this was October 18th, 2031. Yellow! 2044. Okay, well, these are a little bit different as far as the dates are concerned, and I'm really I'm not exactly sure about the whole uh, process. The whole uh, beacons. Yeah, let's... Whoa! Okay, now wanting me to go a little bit more north. Which I will do because I took a long time reading that email. Okay, yeah, I'm a little bit. That really didn't continue me on the beacons. It was the mention of beacons. A beacon had just gone up in Olympia, was it? But this person was trying to find for his gallery's art. I hear something like a static. It's originating from this tree. Interesting. Uh, yeah, wanted some like artists who had lived through the hard times before immortality had become a thing from the beacons. Uh, 
Again with the rain. Jeez, where are we, Seattle? Uh, actually kind of close. Uh, so it kind of wanted me to go north-ish. So yeah, this, this, this gallery director wanted art that meant something. It meant something before the time where people were all so happy, apparently, <laughs> with their immortality and their beacons and their giant glowing animals and stuff, whatever that was all about. <laughs> Alright, we got some skyscrapers again. It's, get, it's getting dark. Nope, oh, there's my bird. Gotta put a bell on you. Ah, the white, the white raindrops against the black night, against the blackness of night, is is really disorienting. Can I walk through this wall? Oh, I can. All right, I'm feeling pretty hungry. Uh, I'll probably be tired soon. It's getting quite dark. I think I'll eat, and then before I grab this information crystal, I'll sleep. Uh, let's eat some mushrooms before they go bad. And I'm not hungry enough for a cooked fish. Okay. It's kind of dark, so I think I'll sleep. Uh, uh. Oh, I heard rustling of leaves. Did anybody else hear the rustling of leaves? I saw that shape over there, and I'm like, that's a bear. But no, no, it's just a shape on the wall. Okay. Let's sleep, maybe, and then we'll hopefully not die whilst unconscious. Uh, alrighty then, let's sleep. Not this the world, nor these the universes. They the universes purport an end, ever the permanent life of life. Eidolons, Eidolons. That was a very cheerful poem. Uh, wait, what was I? Feeling pretty hungry? Feeling pretty hungry. Alright, I'm actually running out of food here. I went through all those mushrooms pretty quick. Stepping over bones, walking through walls, just idle on things. It's idle on. Atlanta, the Atlanta Pulse. Can we trust the Senin? By Gregory Canet. I, oh, he's he's got a different soundtrack. I want to ask something of my fellow. <laughs> tracking, tracking. Let's not justify text. Uh, Americans and many readers who might be looking at this from another country. Do we trust them? The Senate, I mean. Not to say that they are all godless or immoral, but there is a singular truth we've been avoiding. Why give them so much power? Why worship them? Thrust celebrity upon them. Show deference to them as we pass. I've seen my friends and neighbors cast their eyes down as the Senin pa as a Senin passes. Why? At best, they are a continuation and extension of our own humanity, given to all the same brilliance and flaws as us. But all groups, oh, okay, exist in a continuum. They have their highest pupils, healers, prophets, heroes, with the names we will recognize. Jamie Fuoma, Dechaki Mora, Abraham Yusov. But we shun their worst, relegating them to a communal for, for uh, communal forgetting. They might be, they might be human but they aren't people like us. Okay, at first I was thinking like robot people? Maybe like genetically modified people? I don't know where the beacons, do the beacons help everybody or just the Senin? These are questions we have yet to answer. They contain a greater threat than any humanity has dreamed of. Worse than atomic fire, worse than the coal satellites. Am I supposed to know what that is or is that something with the Eidolon storyline. We, as Americans, as Europeans, as Japanese, as whatever else, we let them off the hook. Just last week, ba ba Bastien Royan was convicted of killing two people in a bar in Atlanta. She was given two years in prison, rushed through a trial, and there were no news stories about any of it. Most people, even in Atlanta, don't know her name. She deserves to be treated with honesty, dignity for those who she hurt. Imagine the message it would send to sentence an immortal to a lifetime in jail. I see, that's an interesting conundrum, isn't it? 
we could stop living in fear, we could sleep again, knowing my neighbors killed in that bar received the justice they deserve. Join me in petitioning President Burkett to act on this. Let the White House keep its promise. 2058. Who is running for president? Sorry, there's so much, so much stuff. How do I look at the old? Oh, there we go. Uh, Parton. Uh, reach. What? Um. Who who's go who was running? Because that's the current president. Who was running for president? Terrell slash the budget. Who what? Senator Rowe? I'm all very confused here. Oh, no, wait. The... President Burkett. This is a name I haven't heard before. Alright, we're still, we're still looking for the beacons. Although the... We're not actually gaining the information we desire about them. We're just finding out about a whole bunch of other things. Uh, we will also be needing food very nearly because we only have a piece of meat left so a body of water would be nice soon so I'm not particularly seeing any bushes or, or, or mushrooms or anything the metal creeks Where are you taking me, bird? Oh, there's a road. All right, we've got a road. Oh no, I'm feeling pretty hungry. Uh, what if we just hold off? Just a little bit longer on the old hunger. You, you can do all right. You'll, you'll be fine. Oh, oh there's my bird. information in here. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I'm like, good lord, what is that thing in the sky? Uh, it's an information capsule. That seems kind of out of reach. Let's see if we can't break our legs over this one. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Right, I'm trying to get as close as I can without falling. Maybe I should stop running. Maybe that's a. Huh! That is as high as I can jump. Uh. All right. I guess I got to do like a forward jump sort of situation. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Wait, maybe I should run. No. Oh god. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> We've fallen off of a watchtower from much higher heights. I think we can do this. Alright, this is curious. Oh, wait. Huh. I am very confused as to how to get this one. Can't get it that way. Ha! Yeah, I don't have the hops. Can I jump higher if I'm not hungry? Mm, doesn't appear to be. Huh. Oh, 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 I can shoot him. I remember now. I can shoot them with my arrow. All right. Now I remember. All these skills. This is a big building. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're all kind of big buildings, but that one seems like one singular building. Yeah, let's shoot it. That was a thing we could do, right? I did that accidentally before. Ha! <laughs> there we go, got it! Yoink! Shoot it out of the sky! Alright, oh, we've got some very thin 2052. 
much has happened since last I wrote. Oh, this, I remember this handwriting now all of a sudden, because the eyes are the same. Uh, I've been working on multiple construction projects, and it keeps me away from my girls. Grace will be finishing high school soon, and is excited for college. I fear that without a mother, she has grown too fast in the city. She has grown too fast in the city to last in the city? Too f she is she is very distant when I okay too fast in the city she is very distant when I'm around and is gone a lot Hannah seems to be following in her footsteps the principal suspended her for drinking alcohol in the school <gasps> gasp I do not know if this is because of her age or if it is from growing up in a city with the beacon ah she feels indestructible they seem so reckless exactly that's what I just said compared to my youth Emily's sickness is completely gone thanks to the beacon. She is learning so much and is so humble. I think she knows that the beacon gave her a second chance. When I come home from work, I always look forward to speaking with her. Okay, so this is Steve. Yeah, the previous, the previously hard to read. Whoops, whoops, no, 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 no. I whatever that did. Uh, oh, Old Town? No, no. I've already investigated Old Town. Uh, was this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's financially burdened in May of 2055. And now... Whoopsies. Ah, okay, so this is further back. So he's doing alright, he's doing construction projects and blah 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 blah. Um, oh, what's... was there an update on his daughters? We're piecing together the puzzles, my friend. Grace and Hannah, I think I have lost. Oh yes, okay, they've, they've been lost to the world. They never reach out unless for, for their massive school bills. Funny, because they were just suspended uh, three years ago. Uh, what happened to the other? Emily... And have never been stuff. Whoops, come back. Nor has Emily. The ailment is just a memory. Uh, Emily's still doing fine, but Grace and Hannah a rebels interesting 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 all right so we still want to know about the beacons and this guy's got some information about it and uh i apparently have to go underground for that one wait i didn't see the direction oh that way Ooh, that one took some wild turns all right it's going whoops <laughs> sorry uh south due south so we will continue due south in the next episode oh i need food as well Oh, well, I'll I'll get I'll get nourishment from information instead in the next episode of Idlon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.